Hello there. What is going on, everybody? We've got a real treat today. We're going to be looking at the reactor. This is an interior terrain modular set from LV427. You guys are going to love what you can do with this terrain. I'm going to take a closer look at all the different parts of it and show you some really cool features. Also, if you guys are new here, be sure to enter to win that $25 Amazon gift card. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos it's as simple as that. Um, so what we're looking at right now is one of the medium rooms from the LV427 suite of, of, of terrain. Uh, this is all interior science fiction corridors and rooms. Uh, this is fully compatible with games like Legion if you want to do interior battles for Legion. Also for games like Zombicide or Aliens or any of... Uh, heck, you can play Nemesis in stuff like this as well. Uh, very cool, but really also great for role-playing games and science fiction-based role-playing games, your Star Wars RPG, all kinds of cool stuff like that you can do with uh, modular terrain like this. We're going to take a really cool uh, close look at, at this set of terrain. Basically, you know, they are, we've got some of the corridors here, the industrial corridors that, uh, you know, they all kind of go together. If you have a 3D printer, you can download these STLs and print them yourself. Uh, and, and these are just, they have tremendous quality. If you don't have a 3D printer, uh, you can get these, uh, you can, if you're in the United States, uh, we've got uh, different print partners that LV427 has partnered up with that they can actually print these out uh, and you can, they'll ship them to you. Uh, for example, these were printed by Midwest Token 3D. So big thanks to Midwest Token 3D for printing these out. And, uh, and uh, big thanks to LV427 for making this review possible. Um, but yeah, check the links in the description below. If you want to check this out, it, whether if you have a 3D printer and you're looking to do that, or maybe you even just want to get it printed because you don't have one, or maybe you're just not sure, maybe your 3D printer can't quite do stuff as large as you're looking to do. Um, you know, there's going to be a links for everybody. So, so check these out, but this is really just really nice quality stuff and it's all very easily stackable. You know what we're going to take, like you, you're going to have uh, a corridor like this, a four way, right? Maybe I've got like a two way, like a turn right here. And now I'll just like, you know, connect those to each other like so. And then, you know, you just, you can build an entire, you know, a labyrinth of corridors, maybe you're doing the inside of a Star Destroyer or something like that. And they're also gonna stack on top of each other really nice and neatly. They go make for easy storage this way too. But we're gonna focus a little bit more on this reactor room today because it's got some really cool features. So let's talk about the reactor. All right, so this reactor is actually a four part room. It kind of constitutes about four squares worth. Uh, and it's uh, in perfect size for a game like Star Wars Legion. Uh, if you can see, I've got a stormtrooper here. He's at the tables. He's walking around. You can have your guys uh, coming, walking in through the doorways, um, kind of hiding behind terrain, uh, you know, taking heavy cover, hiding completely out of line of sight and all of this. Uh, we can easily fit our Legion miniatures in here. Uh, but this one, we've got some really nice reactors with computer consoles. We've got some storage canisters in the different sides of the rooms. We've got doorways. Uh, we've got doors that are going to come uh, as part of this that are going to connect, interconnect these rooms. Uh, they, they slide in and out very easily. Just put it in, slide down, slide up. All of the rooms kind of have this, this kind of notched system here that allow the doorways to go in. And of course, when two panels are connected to each other, this is going to slide and it's going to be held up on both sides. It's a little bit of leeway there so that it's, you know, you're not knocking things over trying to get them in there. Uh, there's also a locking system that can kind of clamp two sides together. I don't usually use that because I just like it to be kind of flexible and modular uh, because these are modular systems and you can pick them up and move them around and rearrange this however you want. This is just the currently one way to set this up. One really cool thing about this is that these pieces are not part of the floor, they are just optional. So you can take this command console here, this this big computer desk, this is maybe how they're controlling the entire facility, right? We've got all these circuit breakers down here and all these, uh, you know, feedback, uh, you know, uh, EPS conduits or, uh, you know, the dilithium chamber and wait, I'm mixing, I'm, I'm, I'm mixing the streams here, what am I doing? Uh, we've got some fan vents, some more computer consoles, some uh, some cooling vents. We've got our capacitors over here and, and our com uh, feedback displays, our computer monitors right in here. Um, and we've got that uh, underneath, of course. Oh, look at that. LV427 designs on there. Um, and, and a cool thing about this is, like, I didn't even realize at first that this was a cool way to do it. Because I thought, hey, I could just take this and push this up against the wall and 
kind of have it like that. So yeah, you can have it more of a stand-up if you wanted to do it more of kind of like a stand-up uh, thing. Or so you, it can be like a board, like a big a big long desk or kind of a stand-up uh, against the wall. And did you see me pull these things off? Yes, these generators are also not uh, not part of the floor, but they're uh, in in fact like a really elaborate piece of scatter terrain really large right like they can be placed just about anywhere you want you can even put these outside if you want like if you're looking for some shield generators to go out in the woods you've got some great pieces for it right here um you know you've got your turbines right here nice and rounded uh we've got all kinds of fans and and, and fan vent bits right here and we've got our hoses and, uh, and, you know, it, it really cool, our, our, our power cables kind of linking them together. And of course, we've got the access terminal right here where you can manage them, shut them off, turn them back on. Very cool stuff. And we're going to get uh, two of these that we can put in this room. And so we can kind of set them up however we want. Like I started with them over there and over here. Maybe I just want one in this room, right? Maybe I want a lot more room so I can kind of get a whole lot more Legion, uh, you know, figures in there. Um, Maybe I want to, maybe I want just a whole lot more room for, for dudes to move around. I can totally, I can totally do that. Um, I don't have to have anything in here if I don't want to. Or maybe I have one kind of in the way and it's blocking a doorway so you can kind of see but you can't travel through that certain area, right? Like there's a whole lot of different ways you can do this. Um, and of course we can, we can rearrange how we want this to, to be set up. Like I can just simply flip flop these two and now the doors are on the back. Right, so you can really make this modular. You can make it fit into just about any system that you'd like. I can put my desk right there now, and all of a sudden, now you walk in, and there's the computer terminal desk. I can maybe line this back up to that directly, and so now those. Now I've really made it, you know, um, congested in here, and there's not a whole lot of room to move around. We've also got chairs that if we want to have those in front of the desk, these are just modular chairs. They can go anywhere. You can put these in the hallway. You can have them kind of treat them like really small barricades, right? And uh, you know, put them right there or have one like knocked over and it's in the way and somebody has to climb over it. Um, and so all of that is very cool. I want to show you guys also um, the other two pieces. And these have some built-in pieces. So these are not like removable. We've got a really nice kind of stand-up desk, computer access terminal right here. We've got some uh, maybe oxygen canisters or Bacta or something like that going on here. And here... We've got the uh, oh, this is the this is where they're pumping in. This is where they're pumping in all of the uh, the alien blood uh, that is going to fuel Palpatine's next big comeback, right? Um, and so so yeah, so you can you can set these up in any just in any configuration you want, uh, and and I really like that. I, I like the flexibility that it gives you if you want to have it kind of wide open or if you want to have some stuff. Uh, you know, moderately filled out. You can even do it asymmetrical and put put one kind of in the middle of two different walkways. And now it's tougher getting in, but now you have a little bit of extra room over on this side, you know, and uh, and I really like that about this system. All right, so now uh, I'm kind of just doing a little, like a, a sample setup of just maybe how one scenario might look. Um, setting up it with some of the uh, corridors. Let's see. Um, can we, yeah, we can put... Maybe like a four-way right over here, and maybe this one will go that way, or uh, or however we want. And so you can just you know this you can just keep growing and growing and growing your collection however you want. Um, and 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 that's really like one of the most beautiful parts of this is that you can you can just do so much. Uh, I, you know I I've certainly I've <laughs> certainly grown uh, as the number of uh, of, of uh, options that I have for for terrain like this. And of course the doors, you know, they slide in, uh, no problem. So this is also really cool if you are uh, running a role-playing game, if you're the uh, game master, if you're the GM, and uh, you know your players don't know what's behind the door, and then all of a sudden, oh, you're gonna you're gonna push that button. Okay, all of a sudden, all the doors open, and now you're surrounded by stormtroopers, and then of course you start, then you start populating the map and putting them back in. But I also like this for for uh, battle reports too. I think it's pretty fun. I'll put a link to uh, some of the pretty cool content with using more LV four twenty seven stuff at the end of the video. Uh, so let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section of pretty darn cool sci fi modular terrain like this uh let me know i'm going to be putting links to all other uh reviews uh they're all gonna be on uh my website on crabock.com 
Uh, I have a, 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 a reviews section. I also have a video library in my Discord, which you'll find links to in the links description down below. So be sure to check out all of those links. Again, big thanks to LV427 and Midwest Token 3D for making this review possible. And I will talk to you guys later. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.